Four of Swords, Truce. The Four of Swords has reached the fields of manifestation and condensation, the winds of mind have settled and the powers of the element are well balanced in themselves. The mind has solved a problem, found a solution, completed a process, or has come to a good, satisfying compromise. Jupiter keeps the scales of the Libra in harmonious balance, and the truce can be enjoyed full-hearted. Though, for the air stability means stagnate, therefore the restful truce should be used for reflection and reconsideration, the idea that has become full circle. When the Lord of Truce appears he brings with him a temporary respite, often after we have passed through trying times. This is a quiet period, which should be used to recover, regroup and stabilize. It's important though, that we always bear in mind the fact that this is only a moment in time. Soon we shall be required to pick up the tools of life and continue on our journey. So on a day ruled by him, we're well advised to use the internal stillness he brings to think over trouble spots, or areas of difficulty. That way we see the whole issue more clearly, and are better equipped to sally forth undaunted when the time comes. Occasionally on a day ruled by the Four of Swords there will be a requirement to bury the hatchet with somebody, or to accept their gestures of friendliness toward us. It's important that we are reserved both in what we are prepared to offer, and what we are prepared to forgive. Truce only marks the cessation of hostilities, a brief pause during which we might negotiate a lasting peace. The one thing this card always tells us is that we have not yet finished our business here. If we fail to hold this in the forefront of our minds, we are likely to make the mistake of being unprepared for whatever comes next. 